Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's looking pretty good, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's coming along. Uh, we, Benjamin and I met uh, through a mutual friend a while ago about all this and sort of in this very slow process while life went on around it uh, for all of us and uh, but now it's we're at the point where we're putting a guy in a suit which is uh, maybe the most entertaining part especially for the first time. So right now we're um, just painting his arm up, uh, he's got some tattoos that we just need to cover up and then you know from there we can start finishing the process as you can kind of see so far we got his ears already made up, we got his upper torso on so we can see where exactly we have to cover the paint up and whatnot. I'm involved with this project because uh, I love the Submariner. I've always loved the Submariner. I like a lot of comic book characters. But uh, the Submariner has never been shown in live action. He's uh, The actual project has been greenlit and dropped a couple of times. I'm very Namor-centric, so this is very exciting for me. And he's one of the few untapped Marvel properties that I think is really interesting and would make a good feature and they haven't gotten around to him yet. Um, Maybe for legal reasons, maybe for just having figured out the right thing. I know he was, there was rumors about him being in a bunch of things until now, but uh, every time I watch one of those Marvel movie end credit sequences, I'm always like, don't be named, don't be named, don't be Okay, good, no, just uh, someone else. But uh, they'll, they're going to get to him eventually, and I think that's uh, one of the main reasons why we're here. The end game is to show Marvel slash Universal, where it actually sits right now, as well as the fans, that this is what we've been working on the last few years. This is what we've pooled together with, with no funds. Imagine what we could do with this character if given, if given the green light to do what we wanted with him. I've, I've always been a big Namor fan, and uh, he's complicated, and there's a lot of stuff to him. Just especially in terms of just the execution of shooting something with him, there's a lot of water involved and uh, big timey stuff. So it's 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 exciting. I'm I'm very excited by all this stuff going on behind. Uh, him, so. I think between the ideas that we have with how we integrate him into the current cinematic universe and the design work that uh, John has brought to the table, I think we got a pretty solid uh, concept. How to make him alive, bring him into this world, and uh, still make him as regal and imposing and powerful as he should be represented. Underwater and go flying through the air. The noble submariner, Prince of the Deep, from the Atlantic Sea. The neighbor of Atlantis is the Prince of the Deep.